a lot going on out there that actually makes it almost unbelievable that we're here. Unbelievable. Did you know that last winter a uh, comet almost twice the size of Jupiter flew through our solar system? Yeah, they didn't talk about that one. They released the data at the last minute. Let me pull it out for you, just so you see it. People don't know about this. Unbelievable. They didn't even talk about it on the, on uh, on TV. Why? Uh, because they thought we were toast. <laughs> the size of Jupiter is not trivial. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. An object twice the size of that is extremely massive and there is no doubt that it should have disrupted many of the orbits in our solar system and created huge tidal wave on this planet. I don't know. Um, here it is. This is the video that was given by NASA about it. They didn't talk about it, they just put it on the net, on the solo side. And you know, basically, you were looking at, you know, the basic telemetry of the sun, and then all of a sudden, oh, what's that? <laughs> okay, this is called a V1 comet. And uh, you can see that this is not a trivial object. Look at the sun flare that goes at it and actually disrupted its path. And uh, this is the size of the sun, you guys. Okay? The sun is enormous. This, the earth looks like a little bitty dot beside the sun. Right? This is a huge object flying right towards the sun. Actually, it went around the sun. Astronomers thought it was going to hit the sun. That's why they thought we were toast. Uh, but it looks, and I'm not sure about this, I, 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 this is extremely difficult to get data on this. They won't talk about it much. But I think that it didn't hit the sun because of this sun flare that actually moved it away. Did you see that? <laughs> Oh, uh, that's the arm that holds that little disc so that the lens doesn't get burned. But you can see that that sun flare moved that uh, that comet away from it. Is this yeah. the Vatican that did all this? Um, <laughs> well, the Vatican has a large investment in most of the probes that observed the sun and the telling dates when it was going to come back. Well, they missed by two weeks. And all the people that are looking for Planet X, they're all disappointed because they say Planet X didn't show up. They didn't notice a comet twice the size of Jupiter showed up. They were, the, the comet was two weeks in advance from the Sumerian text, but hey, on a 10,000 year prediction, I think that's pretty dang good. <laughs> right? It's a quarter inch off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Was it observable from... It was. Yeah, it was observable from um, the west coast here very early in the morning. Uh, at, at sunrise, I believe. And they thought we were done. A planet, a, a comet twice... Um, February, February, yeah. Of 2003? Yeah, last winter. And uh, here's the uh, here's the map. When I updated it and it showed the comets, and there was two comets that went by, one after the other. Now let me play this in slow-mo. This first comet came by, which is already enormous. And then this one. Check this out. Is the same orbital plane? Oh, wow. 
Uh, no, they're on an angle coming in. Right, so it's not quite as bad as it Yeah. However, the gravitational field of an object that big going inside the Mercury orbit should have pulled Mercury right into the sun. And, and look at look at the tail when it's at the sun. The tail is still in the Earth's orbit. Well, if you know where the orbit is, you should be able to calculate what the what the, the gravitational influence was. Yeah, the is to the orbit. yeah we did. If we, we shouldn't be here. <laughs> Why are we here? You didn't snap back. I mean, still move. For me? The orbit of the Earth. You know, I mean, if you're saying that it changed the orbit of the Earth, then it changed. Oh, it didn't. Because if it did change the orbit of the Earth, it would have changed the the calculations show that it would have changed it significantly. And uh, a significant change in our orbit would have generated tidal waves and all sorts of events on the surface of the planet that we didn't see. Well, mostly necessarily, yes. Small change over time would be a big change. Small change in the short time. It wouldn't be a small change. It would be a large change, including Mercury going into the sun behind the comet. <laughs> you know, uh, you're talking a huge gravitational field here extremely large. Uh, I believe that we were given another chance. Well, I think we're floating in grace. We're definitely floating in grace at this point, and somebody is taking care of us.